guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I picked up a palette that I am so surprised about. I was not expecting myself to buy this palette, but it did launch on Sephora.com and I was so curious about it that I decided to pick it up and it's the Elements Eyeshadow Palette. It said if you're anything like us, you've spent way too much time on the interweb trying to find what your astrological sign says about you. Instead of stressing over the nitty gritty details, of your birth chart, keep it simple and focus on the four ruling elements of the zodiac. Air, earth, fire, and water. Elements eyeshadow palette allows you to express your elemental personality traits or even try on something completely outside of your own realm. Create looks that show off your dreamy, imaginative side like a water sign. More natural with an effortless earth sign inspired look. Keep them guessing what pensive thoughts are behind your air signs curious eyes or let your vivacious spontaneity spontaneity shine through like a fire sign with elements 19 brand new shades in a range of finishes from metallic to shimmer cream to matte plus our celestial superstar shade Luna you can showcase exactly how multi-dimensional you are so my gosh that was a mouthful for this palette and now I think it makes a little more sense I do love the packaging. I for some reason thought this was cardboard packaging. It has a bomb mirror that folds all the way back so if you want to do your makeup it's really really nice and very very clear and the front cover is gorgeous as well. So you know Urban Decay always kills it on the packaging and I don't know I was just curious about this palette so let's stop blabbering. And let's get to start swatching. This is that middle shade that's called Luna. And I'm just going to go in. I've heard good things about Urban Decay. People are saying they read their formula. So I wanted to see what it was all about. Wow, that blue though. Okay, so let me tell you what I just swatched. I swatched Pex Remedy, Heavy Water, and Sapphire Dream, which is that blue. Let's swatch more. <laughs> this is kind of an odd palette situation, so I don't know like where to go from here. Okay, so let's see. And some shades are smaller pans. Some shades are bigger pans. I know I saw a lot of people say they didn't think there were enough mattes in this palette, but honestly, I feel like you can almost find like mattes in, in your collection already. Oh my gosh. Wow, holy crap. Okay, so we have a shade called Fortune Teller, which is gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of Glass Ball or Bull by um, ColourPop. Then I have Electric Air. This shade is gorgeous. It's called Silver Burn. It's like this beautiful, like, silvery purple shade. Then there's a matte called Antidote, which is kind of a light shade. I think that would be a brow bone highlight for me. And then Secret Keeper is that beautiful green on there. And let's swatch some more. Okay, here are the next four shades I decided to grab. Ooh. Okay. Pretty. So we have, what do we have here? We have Earthbound, Fool's Gold, Elemental, and Volcanic. Very pretty shades. I did a bad job of swatching those, sorry guys. Okay, here are the next four. Look very like earthy and elemental. <laughs> so here we go, let's see. What did I swatch? Okay, I swatched Moon Rock. We have Li Lioness, Firestarter, and Teletectonic. So more kind of like smoky shades. I've, I don't like this palette. The way it's circular is driving me crazy because I don't know what I swatched. Okay, I think I just have two more left. Okay, it's a, like a matte pink and this like purpley shade. So we have Ocean Weaver and Ego. Do you see them right here? So, it's a pretty palette. Is this like something mind-blowing from Urban Decay now that I got to see it because I wanted to see it in person and I don't think I only have access to 
is Sephora inside JCPenney in my area. So a lot of the times I don't have access to some of the latest launches. I have to just get them online. And once I saw it, like, it looks so beautiful on like Sephora.com, but now that I'm seeing it in person, I feel like I'm like, okay, I mean, it's nice, but I have all those colors. So let me try and put them on my eyeballs. We'll see if I'm impressed enough. I'll definitely remember to give you guys a review. If you never hear me talk about this palette again, most likely I never played with it enough and it ended up going back to the store, but I will try and keep you guys updated. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you did enjoy, definitely leave all your feedback in the comments. You guys know I love, I love my comment section. That's like my favorite part of YouTube is talking to you guys and interacting with you guys. So thank you so much in advance and I will see you in my next one. Bye.